got a special guest in the building, man. None other. West Coast Finest. Give it up for the one and only. Glasses, my love. Hey. Yeah, sir. I love how y'all was just all turned down, then y'all just turned Woo! up. Oh yeah, when the camera it's turned on, you, we just always got to introduce. We got to nah, it ain't even professional. We got to introduce the guest like a, a guest supposed to be introduced. But even how y'all kick it off, cause it's just extra. You get chipper, like okay, we'll talk. <laughs> yeah, <before. laughs> yeah. we gotta goddamn make a nigga feel welcome. There you go. Yeah. yeah is, so once a nigga shit. welcome, the nigga feel comfortable and freely to talk that shit. Oh yeah, but I, yeah, sports we gonna yeah we gonna go up. You play sports too, huh? Uh, Pop Warner. I ain't played in high school. I was playing the block, so I ain't played no real sports Shit, in high school. That's, that's a sport too, nigga. That's you got to be quick as a motherfucker. I was MVP a couple times. A <laughs> couple times. <laughs> that's a couple times. Couple back times. to back, or it was like. It probably spurred, like, first year, not rookie of the year, but pretty close. Yeah. That third, fourth season. That's that Jordan run. I was. <laughs> You start looking crazy. It was an all star caliber type of nigga. So they put me in hip hop prison, hip Hall of Fame prison. This motherfucking hip hop saved oh, my life. Oh man, nah, that's dope for real. So you say Pop Warner? What, what, um, what, what position you played? So in football, I played defensive end uh, for sure. Carson Garden in the Jets. I played with some dudes that went pro. Uh, like who? Uh, I played with uh, Kenyon Rambo. Uh huh. Uh, I played with Patrick McCall, Bryce Montgomery, Mike Taylor. It was a couple. Long Beach and, and Carson turned out a lot of athletes. Oh yeah, y'all had y'all had some niggas who yeah, don't win yeah, <laughs> when yeah, it did. So yeah. couple of homies is the homies I was in high school with. AP Antonio Pierce, Coach uh -huh. Red. That's the homie. Yeah, high school. he coached oh, Raiders yeah. now. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Giant, yeah. a giant, former giant. Yeah, he played he, with the Patriots. He too, a giant right? fan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he won a championship with the Patriots and shit. I don't fuck with uh, football cheap, man. They don't pay the players, so I stopped watching it. Yeah. So okay, yeah. okay. But look, is it that? There's no. What did you ever think of you seeing them go to the league and go professional? Do you be like, man, I should have stayed with that shit? Hell right no, now. I wasn't going pro. Oh, you weren't good. <laughs> no, not good enough to go pro. I think I always sized it up a little different. Like I wasn't one of them kids that was just lost in the dream. Yeah, my dream coming up was to be a pharmacist. I was gonna be all right at that. Yeah, at the professional thing was different. Um, the best player I remember, even on my pop one team, the best player was a kid named Bryce Montgomery and. You know, he kind of got in the streets. He figured his life out, but he was like the best player, and he didn't go pro. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean. That, that what like, bro. When I be talking, be telling people, they don't be understanding, bro. The best athletes don't always make it to the to the league because they get caught up. They get caught up early in just like regular life, and sometimes yeah. nigga attitude be fucked up. You ever seen a good player, and you be like, yeah, that nigga, there. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, nigga sure, got a horrible man. ass attitude. But yeah, it's probably why such an athlete chip on his shoulders, you know, uh -huh. probably going through it. So yeah, but yeah, it's, it's and when a, a player can't be coached or something like that. So what made you? So what made you? You know, what I mean, you say you went from like the streets. What made you get into the music? Or you was always doing music? No, nah, no, nah, I wasn't always doing music. It, my my little brother K Style, uh, pretty much got me into the music for the most part. Uh -huh. Um, just trying to keep him out of trouble. He was going to. Uh, YA, which is like a prison for teenagers. Uh -huh. So um, he wanted to rap when he came home, and I was already hustling. So I was a grown up by the time I was hustling. I mean, rapping at least. Uh -huh. I didn't really grow up rapping like that. Right. Took me a long time to get good. That's why I'm barely good now. Yeah. When I first started, I was all right. You know what I mean? But as my passion developed for it, I got. But you were rapping better. what you knew though. Yeah, I was dead on. Yeah. It was. It was for sure the most. Uh, it was authentic. And uh -huh. people could hear it. And, and naturally, I, I ain't never smoke a drink, so like I'm hella articulate. You know what I mean? I read a lot, so it works out for me because it, it was a experience that I survived and was able to kind of put on wax. So it worked out. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. Now I'm just getting good, though. I'm like really good at hip hop right now. Yeah, I'm really good at it. Uh -huh. Just who, now. Who like so you said your brother introduced it to you? Who were some of your favorite rappers and favorite artists like before you started doing it? Who were you listening to like when you was on the block? Uh, on the block is different. My favorite artist, uh, really, his albums is Shadiest one by Dub C. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, uh, a lot of Dog Food album. You know, obviously a lot of Doggy Style, a lot of Last Meal, a lot of East Siders. Okay. Uh, anything by Scarface, Untouchable, Made. What's happening? It's your boy Nav Green, man. Back again with Prize Picks. This time, let's get real. It's a lot of bowl games going on. A lot of NFL games, including NBA. But right now, it's the college bowl games, and they playing for something. With all these holiday bowl games, Prize Picks got you covered. 
I feel like I'm whispering because I want us to get this money. If you go sign up right now, you don't have an account, but you know sports. You pick two to six player stats to win payouts of up to 25 times your entry. And they matching any deposit that you put up. All first-time users. If you're not a first-time user, you already know. And you already know how to get the money. This is for the people who haven't got hip to it yet. I don't know what you're waiting on. Prize Picks is matching anything up to $100. So if you put up $90, say you ain't got $100. Say you got $98.75. They going to match it. You can't beat that. With so much NFL going on, Aaron Rodgers saying he's coming back, Pat Mahomes feeling himself, Dak Prescott at home, because you know when he on the road, we don't know what he might do. You got Tyreek Hill, Debo Samuel, walking touchdowns. What you waiting for, man? Go over there to prizepicks.com and start right now. It's available in over 30 states. Make sure you use the promo code, Broken Play. When you sign up, and tell them I sent you. I'm in the giving season, man. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Get you some money going into the New Year, man. You fucking with the Scarface? Yeah, Did I'm you see his tiny home. desk before? Yeah, I didn't even watch the whole yeah. thing, but I keep telling people I don't. That that nigga is God, bro. That nigga like as a rapper, like that's what God would sound like. Hey. I'm going to tell you, because I see, you know, it was a time when people would speak so highly of Scarface. So it was like, you know how you'd be like, let me let me check him out. Let me listen. Man, because I would only know like a few Scarface songs. Yeah. That song, Him and Tupac. Yeah, you've been deprived. Yeah. So it's like once you start getting listening, like, oh, no. Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah. don't. I'm, I'm not playing. Like, I, it's a, it's a joke to people, but when I say this, it's true. Like, I'm not sure that nigga is not God walking the earth as in hip hop. Bro. Like, if you really listen to him rap, like, that nigga, Scarface has a line where he say, uh, I will never violate the code to the streets, and I will never make a promise that I know I couldn't keep. Who rap, Who says shit like that as a street rapper? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That nigga might be God. Shit like, that's a, code, <laughs> that's a code of ethics. Right, you know what I mean? It is. morals. <laughs> like, who says I will never make a promise? And then, like, make it sound hard. Yeah. Like that nigga, man. That I'm nigga not, I'm pulled not sure. up on us yeah. in Houston. We oh, had did a uh, at the improv, and he like he cool as fuck, just walking through. Like I'm like, no, I think that nigga is God. <laughs> I know that's weird, bro. I swear, like I told him that. I'm like, I'm not sure you're not God, bro. Like if you is, forgive me, bro. What would like, he say? He just laughed, and I'm like. You laughing this shit because you really God. <laughs> he didn't like, deny you know, God, or confirm. Like Jesus, God came to Jesus as a form. Like, yeah. what if God slid himself in hip-hop like, I want to rap too? And then Scarface <laughs> is, you know what I mean? I never, I'm heard, I never heard a take like that. <laughs> Listen, bro. I'm telling you. Who says that? I'll never, I'll never disrespect my mama. Never disrespect her mama neither. I never turn my back on Jesus. Come on, man. This nigga <laughs> might be God. Who writes that type of shit? That nigga's amazing, man. That's why I be listening. Or he could just be an apostle. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Paul wasn't that cold. <laughs> John and Paul, them niggas was some cold niggas, but they wasn't that cold. You said you played football. Did you play uh, basketball? Yeah. You was good in basketball? Court. I was decent. I wasn't good in... I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm so, not, you, all right, you were not never no athlete. You just no, was out no. there. I just could play because I could think well. And, and and I had a cool frame for for sports, but I didn't really grow tall till after high school. I probably really? didn't grow tall till like eighteen and nineteen. Nigga, I thought yeah. my shit was gonna hit like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like five eight, five nine through high school, so you just look. And then I'm game banging one day, and I looked up, and I would wear a size fifteen, and I'm six three. It just worked out That's like crazy, that, bro. In the middle of being a game, but it worked out there though. Hell yeah, had hands for this. <laughs> yeah, like hold up, I'm kind of tall. Nigga went, these niggas. nigga went to big glass. Hey, hold up, nigga. That fast, too. Yeah. You whip a couple niggas' ass in county jail and you be like, shit, nigga. Like a tall so, so you fought with boxing, too, then? That, I love boxing. Who your favorite boxer? Uh, my favorite is Roy Jones Jr. of all time. Cold, all the time. Yeah, my favorite today is Tyson Fury. I've been fucking with Tyson Fury since fight 12 or 13. Uh... Tiafimo Lopez from out of New York. He tough. Oh, yeah. You you yeah. know boxing. Yeah, I fuck with that, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's my shit right there. Nah, I, I ain't no big Fury fan. Yeah, Fury. He be nice, popping shit, man. too. He nice. He yeah, bro. but you know how you know why I don't shit like Fury, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. But but see, you got to look at them gypsies a little different. Yeah. <laughs> they like the nigga of white people. Like the, the hated white people. Yeah, they are hated for sure. They don't like them.
They don't like white people? Nah, I mean, no. Gypsies. White people don't like gypsies. gypsies yeah. Oh, why? Yeah, because they like kind of street and thuggish. And, they don't subscribe uh, to one particular thing. It's like they gypsies and then everybody else, everybody else. Yeah. Oh, okay. They, they rock. So they slick racist. They, they, uh, like even in England, like they don't like him. They like Anthony Joshua, you know what I mean? Shout out to Anthony Joshua, but okay. they like the other guy, the brother. Yeah. They don't really like Tyson Fury. Like he, so like, he, he really a most hated type yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Real Tupac vibes, cause like he be living it. That's why he be talking shit like that. Exactly. That ain't, that, that ain't yeah. That would the, make if you get into his story, you'll be like, okay, I get it. This motherfucker some shit. So uh -huh. he, but he got hands, man. He just big old motherfucker six nine. I didn't. Fucked with him and hung out with him and, and chill with him and politic with him. He moved like he a middleweight. He take boxing serious and he know it like the back of his hand. Gosh, I, I like the, uh, I like boxers and athletes and shit that really know they sport. That know so you move around thing. and you sit down and like really like sit there and like talk and and politic with their ass. Being a uh, a, a crib from Los Angeles has its uh, benefits. Advantage. You know what I mean? Where people, you know, you can and then being in hip hop, you know what I mean? Like. People really kind of give you a little bit more play, and then they realize you got something to offer to the conversation as as well. So, but I've been I've been checking dude out for a long time. But way before that, yeah, way before he even had his first fights in the states. You know, what I mean, mm. I've been on board for a while. I've been making money off him fighting for a while. So, Glass, tell me this: you from, you being from L.A., being from you know what I'm saying that era. Sure. Clippers versus Lakers. That's not even a thing. <laughs> Why I'm, some people be Clippers fans then? Uh, because the tickets was two dollars our whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Pay three hundred dollars for a ticket, they let you play on the team. Hey, so there's no way you could have ever been a Clippers fan. No, I root for. I mean, you got they from LA, but it's like yeah, it ain't it's like your little brother. You know what I mean? So if the, all right now, tell me this: if the Clippers win the championship with the team they got constructed right now, they better the city. The city of LA wouldn't be happy. Yeah, we it'd be the greatest victory in the history of humanity. The motherfuckers been yeah. sorry forever. Forever. But it still won't hit like a Lakers championship. No. I mean, it's different. It it would be big. We'd be happy. We'd be man. We've been dragging the motherfuckers around forever. <laughs> Little brother. God damn man. By the time y'all brought something to do the city. something. Yeah, that's how y'all. All they feeling. do is let kids play on the team. You know what I mean? I remember you used to buy. A t I remember you pay a ticket two hundred dollars. They let you play for two, three, four minutes. They was that bad. Just random niggas. <laughs> <Yeah. out there. laughs> For like yeah. halftime game, feel me? Just, just out there. No, hell no, in the game. <laughs> Man, <laughs> <He> was <going. laughs> nigga was guarding Xavier McDaniel's nigga out there. Some nigga from sixties. <laughs> so look, since you don't like the Clippers, who's some of your favorite Clippers I, of all time? I don't time? dislike the Clippers. Okay, yeah, yeah. I You're just... not a Clippers fan, but who's some of your favorite Clippers of all time? Uh, I like Danny Manning. I mean, I like the Charlotte, niggas now. Kansas, yeah. Look at them. They're a bunch well, you of, went back with the It's Manny. a bunch yeah. of Southern California niggas now. It's yeah, LA yeah, niggas. Fact. Harden. Mm -hmm. feel me? It's them niggas Russell, all from the Westbrook. land. So I really want yeah. them niggas to win. Yeah, because like, these, God these damn, niggas from the city. This is really all the niggas from the city coming together to get the Clippers a championship. Paul, it's four, five niggas. Yeah. It's four first ballot Hall of Famers right now on that team that's in the prime of their career. James Harden might be, and Russ a little bit might be kind of not in the prime, but they in the twilight still. Them niggas need to win now. Yeah. Because yeah, if they don't, that shit, that shit over. It's over, man. Yeah, it's over. They about to get their new stadium, all that stuff. Yeah. They need to win. They Who your win. favorite? Give me your top five Lakers of all time. Because I know Magic is one. Okay, so Magic is number one. Kobe is number two. Shaq is number three. Uh... Cooper is number four. Mike. Mike Cooper. And Kareem is number five. That's a good lineup. It was like uh -huh. starting lineup, too. Uh -huh. When you say Lakers, like you, you don't consider LeBron a Laker? <laughs> Why would he be one of my favorites? That's crazy. <laughs> he just became a Laker. He just was a Laker two days ago. Right. <laughs> He's my favorite Laker. <laughs> Bro. I think it's not in my top 10 favorite Lakers, the top 20 at this point. You got a long way to go. Damn. What else the man got to do, bro? <laughs> we got to at least play a little longer. <laughs> wore the Lakers jersey for three days. <laughs> I'm talking about niggas. Magic, and Col Kobe wore a Lakers jersey for 20 years. Yeah. This nigga wore a Lakers jersey for five days. James Worthy ahead of him. Vlade Divac ahead of him. Man, Vlade hey, didn't oh, play longer than him. He said favorite Lakers. But Vlade didn't play that Lakers. long. 
He just say the best. All right, you right. I, did, I said your favorite. Yeah. So I can't yeah, argue with person, your favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you said favorite. I have other niggas that I've been in. It. Michael Tom. It's a lot of Laker niggas that All I right. like. The best Lakers. <laughs> the best Laker. LeBron probably be top fifteen, maybe top ten. So you, what you, you what you working on musically? <laughs> Cancel these nuts. Cancel these nuts. Cancel these nuts. My new album. <laughs> I see this is what I'm saying that this is why I logged off the Lakers all year. Cause LeBron fans, y'all just delusional and ridiculous. No, it's not that way. It's, it's like, like nigga come here two days, like that nigga the greatest Laker ever. No, no. not even that. I'm gonna tell you, Glass. It's people who are Lakers fans that don't even like LeBron. I had homeboy call me like, man, I guess I gotta root for your boy now. Nigga, why should that even be a conversation? Be, be, because it's a thing, dog, like. Right, it's not Le- like nobody really dislikes LeBron. Uh-huh. A lot LeBron of is like LeBron. no, it's it's not really LeBron like Hickman. You just don't dislike. It's it's not really a lot of flavor to like or dislike. His fans are delusional. They come out with these ridiculous stats. <laughs> LeBron's the first nigga to score seven points, eat two hot dogs, wearing blue <laughs> shoes in the locker room, and now you stuck with this legacy of some nigga and all these dumbass fucking stats. Oh, he the first nigga had thirty six thousand points, three hundred cars, and six houses. I, man, I don't give a fuck about that, man. So it's like it, it make it hard to debate. They they bring out different stats that don't even matter to the game. Shit that I never thought of in my life as an accomplishment. Uh. And they be like, all right. So it's like LeBron himself is is a top five player of all time, but his fans is the worst fans of all time. <laughs> who who a close second? Who who got some more worst fans? Nicki Minaj fans is crazy. <laughs> yeah, they wild. They wild on the, the barbs. barbs. Yeah, them motherfuckers is crazy. Hey. I deal with the female barbs over the male barbs. Yeah, they all the same. Shit. Boy, they all probably got penises. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. So. Now, LeBron fan, LeBron himself is, a, you know, everybody like LeBron. He's a cool guy. You know yeah. what I mean? But it's just, he don't really rub nobody the wrong way. He always reading the first page of a book. You know what I mean? He always said the right things about whatever's politically going on. It ain't never like he going to put himself in a position to where you can Dislike, dislike, him like, yeah, yeah he's just he, great. And at the end of the day, you'll turn around. Well, yeah. he's a good family man. Yeah, man, that's exactly. You be like, well, I don't fucking yeah. care. So hey, as, as far as best Lakers, he probably be probably top, like right out the top ten for me. Like right somewhere in the inside, maybe. You know, he he got to be top ten. Forgive me. What you think about Anthony Davis? I love that motherfucker. I just think he in a bad situation. I, I like Anthony Davis. I mean, I I mean, you don't like even if I don't like or dislike LeBron. Like I like. Yeah, Anthony I know Davis that, but it's like. Athlete. So tell me, what about Anthony Davis? Well, right now he's in the prime of a two-way sport. Like he playing both ways. Mm-hmm. He's, hey, he's defense, a prime defense. Defensive player. He could win defensive player of the year right now. Which is now. why we keep winning. Mm-hmm. Like we won our championship because we had the number one defense. But you know, nobody gonna give credit to the nigga that was the runner up for defensive player of the year, LeBron James. His fans, man, it's his fans. But <laughs> I like AD two-way threat. I feel like on certain nights he can get you 30 and 16 and then turn around and have five blocks and a whole bunch of turnaways, so You're right, I yeah. like the two way of that. That's true. Yeah. How you feel about uh, Darvin Ham as y'all head coach? I'm still you know, two days. Still learning. Two, learn. two days. Yeah. Still learning. Yeah, I. They got to do time and service with you for me for you to say something. Yeah. I can't judge nobody. Like you know what I mean. Like I got to see more, but I, I like his ideas. I, I like the last coach. I like the the uh, Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel. I like yeah, him as a defensive specialist. So quick. And we didn't give him no defensive players. Hey, so look, Draymond Green. Yeah. Would you like to see him as being a Laker? I mean, I like he played defense. Yeah. I like any nigga play defense. He played more than motherfucking defense. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's a boxer yeah. too. I, I, I grew that up nigga with play like offense. That. Yeah, I grew up with niggas like, <laughs> yeah, like them Anthony Masons and shit. Oh, yeah, Mason. so we was used to seeing that Rick shit. Mahorn, niggas foul. Uh, what's your boy um, for the Knicks? Charles Oakley. Yeah, Charles Oakley. Yeah. Them type of players. And I stuff want a like nigga that. to give you a hard foul. Uh huh. You know, I, I respect. I respect the NBA where it's at, but I, I like the. I like when the, the players foul you. Or just touch you. Yeah. Foul you. Let you know I'm here. Yeah. yeah. Like, ain't no easy. Ain't no, yeah, I, easy Because when a nigga scream, and one, it make a nigga sign. Oh, you just, yeah, you you just, just lost now. Yeah, you ain't. See, these dudes don't have no respect. And, and Draymond Green, one of them players that you're going to give him some respect. You ain't fit to be playing. You ain't fit to do no trick. He going to take the trick to the next level. For sure. I, I respect his hoops. I think Draymond Green is dope. Best, best game you ever seen, whether it was live on TV, just best sporting game, period. It could boxing be football, match, boxing match. Football, basketball, boxing, anything. Uh, Tim Bradley versus Providnikov. I don't even know what fight that is. <laughs> so, 
Roos Line providing the cough was a really great fighter at, at the light welterweight and welterweight division. Tim Bradley is obviously a first ballot Hall of Famer from California. Uh -huh. They had a fight at uh it's a it's an arena at home called the Stub Hub. It's an outdoor arena, hold about seven thousand in the city of Carson. Uh -huh. And um I had some front rows to that fight. And I just was going because it was like, oh, this, we got the front row seats, you know what I mean? Tim Bradley fighting. I don't know who he's fighting against. He's fighting against some yeah. Russian. I'm just gonna keep some Russian it. nigga. Yeah. And that Russian nigga ended up dragging his ass through hell and hot water. And I remember one of the times they was fighting, it was right in front of me. And uh you can see me on TV and the blood got on me. Like that's what? how crazy the fight. Damn, was. for real? And it ended up being fight of the year. And I just randomly was there, like, what did I just see? Nigga, we gotta go look. What you like what you what you what you water that motherfucker? We were talking a couple weeks. Like they feel like they should start wearing suits back to the. You remember like during that era where nigga get dressed up real? You had on some player shit or you you were casual? I'm a casual, yeah, yeah. I was in there with some khakis or something, some chucks, looking like a crib. <laughs> something. Somewhere you had your chucks on. Some Ben Davis or something. Yeah. I don't remember something that was cripplicious. <laughs> something that was cripped out. Was your neighborhood crip related? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seventh Street, Washington. So Street. you knew when you were going. You knew what you were gonna get drafted into, regardless. You know what? It, it just rock like that. It don't really be something you really pick up. It's just there. Mm -hmm. You just that. You know what I mean? You either say no. That's it. You're like, no, I'm not with them. But if these your childhood friends, you know, and everybody what I mean? these in your it, boy, yeah, like, yeah, it ain't really nothing to be in. It's like this. this it's family. Thomas. Everybody yeah. else call him Killer T, but that's just Thomas to me. <laughs> Oh yeah, them niggas jump on Thomas, what? I'm gonna fight your motherfucking ass. Yeah, yeah. What, you what know, be a nigga named Killer T? Nigga Killer T, that nigga named Thomas. <laughs> nigga named Thomas in class. Yeah, that nigga named Thomas his whole life. Mom, Thomas and everything. You know what I mean? But he yeah. done shot three niggas, nigga, now so, they jumping him. So did that school bell ring, he about to kill a T. Yeah. That's how gang, real gangbanging is like that. It ain't about the names or the streets. It's like, oh, that's Thomas, that's Ronald. Yeah, how you got the name Glasses? I can't see. So <laughs> there ain't no cool name. I, I would have thought of a hundred cooler names than glasses. I'd have been something named after Magic Johnson, I'd have yeah. been Little Magic Ice or something. You know, but glasses was the street name that I had because I couldn't see and they were making fun of me because of some glasses that I lost. Yeah. And so I used to squint. They'd be like, glasses. And then you fight a couple niggas be like glasses low. Big glasses low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, like I had already fought all these niggas in the county and Got shot at and shot at niggas and sold drugs and stayed yeah. silent. I ain't making another name. Yeah, like just, glasses don't put in too much work. Right. Boy, <laughs> yeah. I ain't changing no name. I can't do a two chains. Right? Yeah. I'm stuck with this <laughs> motherfucker the whole time. For sure. So how you threw the, the Malone, your real last name? No, nah, my big homie gave me that name. That's his mm. name. Yeah. So he just threw the Malone yeah, on that? Yeah, make smooth. a sign that he gave me the name. So I think he wanted to make me more appealing to blood. He didn't mm. want everybody to be like, glasses low. Because, you know, blood's like, oh, that nigga's a crap. Yeah, oh, okay, so okay. It gave people, it gave Bloods more of a chance to see who I was first so they could like me. Mm. So it worked out. So, like, with that, like, musically, does that, like, you think that hinders? No, no. Nah, at all, all, none at all. Especially huh? now because um, the music, the street scene's so funny, uh -huh. you know, with the music that uh, people just want something authentic. Right. And mm. I'm starting to realize that no matter which ghetto I go to, you know, if I go to, if I'm in a, West End, wherever I'm at, they like, man, this real nigga walked up in here and you just see niggas happy to see a nigga that's uh -huh. from the soil like them. So it's just like that in Los Angeles, you know, a blood nigga see me, man, I'm glad you on these niggas neck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloods, nigga, get on these niggas. So yeah. It's, uh, hip hop is definitely being pushed into one box and, you know, shit, we uniting in these ghettos as long as you represent all of us correctly, we, you know, we gonna fuck with you. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So you said that was one of your favorite boxing uh, matches. Who's some of your favorite football players? And you ain't got none, just yeah. niggas you played. I ain't with watched football since Emmett and Deion Sanders played. Them Get the like fuck out of here. Niggas. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, them Not even college? Nah, man, they don't pay them people. But you say Deion, but you ain't even check out Colorado? Oh, I can't fuck with them. Oh, that shit is crazy. Them niggas is crazy. Niggas is, <laughs> these niggas crazy. I seen Dion in a press conference, like, yeah, I'm here to save black schools and turn around nigga playing for the whitest school in the world. <laughs> Coaching. So, you know, Dion is my nigga. I, I hold on to the glory years. Yeah. Whatever else he wanna do is good for me too. Cowboy is. Yeah. That's time nigga was a falcon and a cowboy. Now he in Colorado. So Bruh, it's whatever works. He a buff from. now. Yeah. He a buff. A buff. Hey, everybody watching them Colorado games, bro. Yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. watching them Colorado yeah. games. And everybody talk to me about that. They be like, oh, glad, well, you know, he doing good, Bill. I don't give a fuck about that. That's what they be wanting me to talk about, who making money. Yeah. It ain't none of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, who won? 
Straight up. Yeah. They started off strong. Them nigga had won three games. Nigga, I was thinking about going out there to Colorado. <laughs> Them nigga lost five games straight. I ain't watch another damn game. You gotta be a dick. You know Dion that nigga. You a nigga thinking about going to Colorado, bro? Different. We was staying cause you gotta think we on the Eastern Time Zone. Sure. Them games start at 10, 30, 11. We up two thirty cause they going in triple overtimes and shit. Nigga, you couldn't tell nobody in Atlanta we went no Colorado Buffalo fan. I, Until you know they what? start losing. I appreciate the support we got for the brothers, though. Especially like yeah. a Dion, where we just want to see him do good. Yeah, fair. But you know, but Dion got that generation, generational love from so many age groups. You got to think about the people who saw him play, then the people, you know what I mean, that know him from the past, then know him from on TV, just, just period. Like yeah, He's he a special the, athlete. He always was. I mean, even watching, I remember him being a rookie. I remember that as a kid. Uh -huh. He was always just tough. He was just special. Mother return punts and shit. Just he just had a flair, and he was the real deal. Um, I don't know how that will work out today because the world is so, you know, I don't know how they, you know, about pretentious people. Like, but at that time, we really liked it. You know, what I mean? yeah, like the outspoken. We liked the outspoken shit. person. Yeah. That was put up too. What rappers you listen to now, right now? Rappers uh, that just came out recently, just just like in in general, like what you what you probably done listened to in the last week or two. There's some rappers out, like because I know you were saying like Doug. I've been listening Scarface. to a lot of Zoe Simon from L.A. Uh huh. Uh, Three Ten Baby is a kid named So City, Blueface, different people. You know, I just listen to songs. I, I don't I don't know if the uh, I think the artists are still developing themselves. You know, what I mean, trying to figure out how to make uh -huh. bodies of work. It's not like the uh, you know listening to Jeezy the first time I heard. TM 101 or Tip Man. Classic. It's, it's different. You know, they were pro the producers were more developed. Yeah. It wasn't uh -huh. even, I don't even think the rappers were just better. I know that sounds crazy, but I think Shorty Red and Tune. But sometimes them. them beats were mm. made, especially like you couldn't see no other rapper on this. Yeah. Like it was like a, a match made with the rapper and the Listening producer. Listening to TM 101, I never realized how much Scarface was in it. You know, not the rapper, but the film. You know what I mean? Mm. There's a lot of Scarface of the film in there, and I never caught that. So, but that just go to the production yeah, genius still and Shorty that. Red and all them people and just like a, a, a Toomp, you know, listening to all tip. the tip shit, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's, the producers were more developed so they could finish whole bodies of work. And I think that's what got to happen for the next generation of MCs. I like Roddy Rich. Yeah, Roddy's dope. Roddy, I, I met Roddy when he was a little kid, 15, uh -huh. 16 years old, and he was always special. For real? Yeah, he was always tough. He's always tough. The person, shout out to my homie Bird and and uh, his cousin, my uh, my people's rally. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, they they he always was a tough talent. Who's somebody in the industry that you want to work with? Uh, I don't know, man. I pretty much people that just came out a long time ago. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I, I really. If I if I work with somebody that's that's current, that's cool too. But I really kind of want to go to the people like uh, I've been talking about the whispers, the, the twins that sing for mm. the whispers. Uh, Stevie Wonder starting to be more somebody I want to work. I need to work with niggas who really love this music. Word. Shit. Oh, Not damn. Some niggas you think? That just yeah, rapping. Saying, yeah. Like okay. the pan you know mean, people yeah. like that really like you know people that love the music. I'm trying to get with JD. Where JD at? Jermaine yeah. Dupri. Yeah, you know what I mean. That people nigga done who, went vegan. Yeah, it, you know what I mean. <laughs> It works out. That's where we at now. Yeah, man. <laughs> People who love the music, man. I got a question. Um, I know you talked about Pop Warner earlier. Talk about like you know, cause we don't see it because we from we in the south. But you know, talk about like the Snoop View Football League and and just like the the beginning and and where it is now and how many kids you know he done put through the NFL and in and, and college and all that. You know what's funny? That's like one of those things that's such an unspoken thing that everybody knows is going on. Like, and, and they got a really good program. Um, I, I I have been seeing different kids that was in this program that went to the league, but they always had nice uniforms. It, it was, it was, it definitely got more active. Like more people start going to Pop Warner games. Uh -huh. I mean, they always had a, a had a TV show. Yeah, mm. yeah. So like that's dope for dog. He really into that. Mac Ten coach too. Mac Ten coaches for real? teams. Yeah. Okay. So it's a Joe Moses coaches a team. There's a lot of rappers out there that's coaching teams, and nobody kind of talks about it. But a lot of people are inside of the community, you know, helping with the sports and all of that. But it's crazy. These little kids be playing as many games as the professionals. 
Man, they be year round. Hey, yeah. bro, football is year round now. They having a tournament in uh, Texas right now. Yeah, these little niggas need to be getting paid already. Bro, they because they, they gonna be burnt out by the time they go pro. Yeah, yeah. it's coming. They gonna, yeah. they gonna CJ Stroud, one of them um, kids from that um, Snoop Dogg league. For mm-hmm. real? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Even a little basketball. I've been watching a little. Uh, all the little, what's they, what's the traveling team stuff called? AAU. AAU. And yeah. like these little dudes playing 60, 70 games a year. Oh, hell yeah. So so summer, gonna, from summer to like, yeah, that ain't gonna summer to no, summer. Yeah, they ain't gonna even have no knees by the time they go pro. That's why a lot of them be like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Think about all these kids we see on Instagram and the crossovers and them niggas never go nowhere. Them niggas be at the store, working at the liquor store later on. That tough, though. Yeah. So um, sometimes I worry about it, but I, I think. Um, Particularly back to Snoop, I think that program is cool, and I think it's good for Dog to have his name on that. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? He he he. I know he was really into it. You know, about ten years. Because he played, years he used ago. to put the pads on himself. Yeah, yeah. He got, he got that movie coming out too. Uh, yeah, it look, that look cool. like it's gonna yeah. be fun. That look, look like cool. it's gonna be dope. If you had to compare your your uh career, your rap career, what athlete would you modest your rap career around? Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace is a... Uh, I've had so many debates about Ben Wallace and, you know... Um, debates like what? Tell them. Like, I've been saying Ben Wallace is better than Patrick Ewing. He's a greater player than Patrick Ewing. And people think that's crazy because they don't crazy. really have no respect for defense. Yeah, it ain't crazy. It's I ain't gonna little, say it's crazy. It's a little wild. But it's... I gotta go pay. Pat played defense too, but not yeah, to man. that level of Ben Wallace. Four, man. five, tied defensive. Yeah, player uh, not to that level. Champion yeah, for sure. Defense yeah. anchored around him. Only undrafted player in the Hall of Fame. Could guard pretty much every position because his size and his length. He was just a monster. And, and Pat was, don't get me wrong, was a a really great offensive player in his prime for his knees went all the way bad. And I think he was a formidable defender, top level. Uh-huh. But it's different when you just the best at something. Yeah, and Ben Wallace is yeah. the best at defense. I remember them kicking our ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when the, everybody thought the Lakers was gonna win that yeah. series, we had all them Hall of Famers. Yeah, and all that. Man. Gary, Carl, yeah. Malone, niggas Kobe, Shaq. Our ass. Damn, yeah. You know what I mean? So I saw that up in close. I saw that up close and personal, and I saw what he's able to do on the court that don't show up on the stat sheet. So. You know, Dennis Rodman being top 10. People think that's Of all crazy. time. Yeah. But again, to me like this, <laughs> right? I know, right? I know. It, it's nah, I, let me say this. I can tell you care a lot about defense. Yeah, yeah. As much as I care about offense. Yeah, but like I'm Like Magic Johnson, right, didn't play oh, too much defense at all. I mean, he led the league in steals a couple of times on playing a passing lane, but... He's still one of the best. When you Steph Curry, one of the best players of all time. His defense ain't uh-huh. necessarily. What he could probably get a D minus or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, probably. Yeah, he plays good probably team about defense. A C, about C C minus. Yeah, C at best. Yeah, at best. See, I said C minus. So you know, if if we can give all this credit to or Iverson and all the best offensive players, we should be able to give the same so, credit yeah, to nah, the greatest I'm with defensive you on players. So you look at Dennis Rodman as a second best power forward of all time, and it makes sense. Who first? Tim Duncan, the fundamentals. And you Rodman's got Rodman's not better than Barkley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And you got Dennis Rodman yeah, too? By far. By far. Dennis Rodman. Bro, I'm Glass, I'm going to tell you straight up. <laughs> I know you've been arguing sports your whole life. Like, I know. I know when you say shit, I know niggas. I already did the work. Hey, bro, niggas be walking past like and niggas be like, man, I know yeah. that ain't my conversation. Niggas yeah. got to stop and just talk to you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think right now. You think Robin better than Garnett, Nowinski? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dirk don't play no defense. I know you ain't gonna just think that, that offense understand is better that. than this defense. It's an offensive game. Man. So look, Chicago don't win all them championships <laughs> without Robin. Hands down, they short. They won three without him. Uh, that was it. They didn't. That was <laughs> it. <laughs> Six is different than three. Yeah, three of them you won't say better than Magic Johnson. Robin Six won, is why you say he's the best won player. Two on his own, didn't he? And and yeah, and, Detroit. And, yeah, and Detroit. a lot of exactly right and. They talk about, you know, Isaiah Thomas on that team. It's like Joe Dumars and Robin. Man, that team offense was horrible. They had to go, they had to go get uh, Mark Aguirre, average 30 in, in Dallas, and bring him off the bench to help with that offense. But that defense was always anchored down. So Benny Johnson was Man, it was so much. De- them niggas in Detroit, I started looking back at highlights. Them niggas, 
That was a team with Draymond. Foul. Mm-hmm. Foul. Your punk ass. Boy. Foul. Bill yeah. Lambert Bill was Lambert. a risk. Hey, hey, without no defense. He'll swing hey. on you too. Yeah. That nigga, this all he saw. That's why I don't even trip off that little shit they be talking about with Draymond, that little slice. What that you, punk yeah, ass? You, you, it's you, a you, different you, game. That's, that's all you see. I saw you see my dude take off on Larry Bird. Hey, I didn't see that So I got to bring it up. They know this is my show. Did you check out Winning Time? Yeah, I did. The first season. Bro, winning time a good ass show. Yeah, yeah. Magic is that nigga, man. Bro, I didn't realize until I watched the show. I'm like, nigga, I would have been a diehard Laker fan. Yeah, how could you not grow up in the 80s? I'm, I'm one when this man come in the league. I'm born. This my, I'm born. Yeah, I've been with him since. So I this was all born. you saw, man. Thank this nigga, man. This nigga smiling, giving niggas 26, 15, and nine. And then go fuck a bitch at halftime. Five, <laughs> five, and come back and finish the game. Hey, with he was a he was a freak ass nigga too. He was even pushing too. I, I, man, Mike Magic was some shit, man. And, and this is why I always had these conversations with niggas where we talk about Michael Jordan. And I get it. You know, it look a lot better now. You know, Michael Jordan in hindsight, and he dunked and he scored and all that. Man, Magic Johnson was such a the nigga come in the league and win a championship, Finals MVP. With their Cap, best player out of Cap the game. Cap goes down in the final game in the shit. Remember, Cap and them, they can't even make the playoffs sometimes. I mean, they did get better, but they couldn't even make the playoffs sometimes with Kareem. This nigga come in and they a championship team. 40-piece last game, too. Nigga <laughs> finished the last game of the season, game six, 42-15-8. and eight. Nobody seen no shit like that, man. That so Magic top credit. five of all time? He is the yeah, guy. for sure. And you got him number one? Yeah. Three Over guard. Mike. Yeah. Oh, so you don't have a Mike and LeBron debate. It's Magic and whoever. Well, I mean, they all play different positions. Yeah, Magic but... Johnson beat AIDS, man. What are we saying? This nigga yeah, beat AIDS, about, my dog? nigga. When niggas was, niggas was dying of AIDS, this nigga right now still fucking hoes. <laughs> this hoes giving him pussy right now. That nigga, that, that nigga the open up 30 theaters. And start thir- 100 Starbucks. <laughs> What we talking about? He owns about? a team, a part owner of the a, Commanders Nigga right still now. out. Dodgers still owner. Still there. Niggas oh, giving them hugs. Exactly. That nigga beat all of that. Man, it's different when you just beat the Sonics. My nigga beat AIDS, my nigga. <laughs> you got any magic stories? Magic is the guy. I, magic is magic. There's the clip. <laughs> magic is the guy. Bro. I never heard that debate said so well. Like, because niggas still, It's bigger than just a nigga going against a team. A nigga oh, beat a nigga. whole pandemic. Man, listen. <laughs> I'm a, I'm he a beat a world killer. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, he's killed Fetty Mercury, Easy E, <laughs> and this nigga went against Arthur Ashe, some bad motherfuckers. Yeah, man. this nigga served AIDS, gave AIDS 50, 26, and nine. <laughs> MVP walked off the court on niggas. He the reason right now niggas think they can live with AIDS. It's yeah. just levels to this winning shit, man. And Magic is the greatest <laughs> winner ever, man. That nigga pop off the court and just be chilling, and I'll never forget, man. I, it was like. 92 when he, he announced it. Was it 91 or 92? I think it was 92. 92, I want to say. He was at the Crenshaw Mall. Yeah. My mom knew I loved magic. I'm 11 years old. And he, you know, I know he got HIV. And my mom at that time, rest her soul, she's a uh, registered nurse. Mm-hmm. And she did home care for terminally ill patients. Gotcha. And um, to make a long story short, I was meeting people dying of AIDS in the 80s. You know, white gay men that was rich. And yeah. They had these, you know, AIDS, when AIDS was real AIDS, not the new AIDS where they can... Yeah, I ain't never seen neither one of them. No, the, well, at least I don't think. I'm saying, but you see, right now they got the new ways. Like they got the pills and shit. They get like you. Oh yeah. Not even give it to people. They can't even detect it no more. Oh damn. So you know, but I'm talking <laughs> about when AIDS was the real AIDS. Like it had the silver dollar sores all over you. Like that shit you yeah. be looking like. I, I got to take your yeah. word for it. I mean, <laughs> it was, this this how it was back in the day. Like uh-huh. people get sick and thin, and it was like yeah a yeah. I do know thing. that they start getting skinny and just fall and off. They be just messed up and and um. So I'm thinking when he says this, I'm like, damn, man, my nigga finna like, you know what I mean? This nigga's my favorite person in all the entertainment. Like, it's Magic Johnson. And he's up there and he like, man, I'm going to beat this like I beat the Celtics. That nigga wasn't lying. That's 30 years ago. Damn. Come on, my nigga. Michael Jordan beat the Sonics. My nigga beat the (laughs) Celtics. It's just levels. My nigga beat the Jazz. My nigga beat AIDS. (laughs) Still got his wife. Now that's to this day. what nigga ain't talking about. Winners. <laughs> nigga. Cookies nowadays, still there. Th- nowadays in this generation, if a female catch you liking a bitch pitch on Instagram, you they be ready to it. leave. 
This nigga had AIDS. And his wife. No, he didn't have AIDS. Oh, what he had? HIV. HIV. (laughs) Nigga, I put all that shit in the same boat. (laughs) No, because it take, it take, it take, it takes something to get to that. And that nigga got that shit backed up. Oh, okay. He gave that nigga, he gave AIDS 50. Like, yeah, nigga, you don't want none of this. AIDS never came back. Take that shit somewhere else. There's levels. Yeah. You know what I mean? The magic is just such a winner and, and, a formidable human being, man. He's a humane person, and he always tweet the right shit. You know what I mean? Like, he's just a good motherfucking person. You know what I mean? And you just love it. Now, you see winning time, and you know he's some shit. But that's even a greater part of the Yeah, because you see his levels, like, he yeah. done changed. Yeah, so tell me, this is the last thing I'm going to ask you about the, the whole Magic Johnson thing, man. So what did you think after doing all that? Okay. How you feel about seeing him wear a mask when we were going through COVID? That nigga didn't want it. He beat you can't beat HIV and AIDS and then die of COVID. Yeah, okay. That'd be I'm fucked saying, up. But it's like, nigga, I'm magic, thinking magic. you I'm thinking you invincible, <laughs> nigga. Take the mask okay. off. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hell no, imagine magic he done beat HIV and AIDS and then die of COVID. That'd be Oh yeah, boy. niggas would have dogged him then. I mean, niggas be devastated. Wait a minute, you beat AIDS? <laughs> and COVID, you know what I mean? So Again, you beat a 73 and 9 team, and then you turn around and lose to the Detroit Pistons. What is happening, man? He, he, this year. This year. And, and shout out to COVID, because COVID is formidable as a, as a world could. It be fucking people off. But, you know, you can't beat A's and then lose to COVID. You know what I mean? It's just levels. You know what I mean? So, nah, Magic I, Man is just. I respect your debate on that. Yeah, yeah. Magic <laughs> is just special, man. It's just a different yeah. type of winner. Hey, but I guess it's throwing me off because I thought you would just go, you know, keep it. You know, like accolades and sports, but when you when you bring in a nigga be the whole disease, man, uh, he uh, might be violent. the best player, yeah, man, best athlete of all time. Man, look at it like this, right? The man played 12, 11 years. He ain't really get twenty years. LeBron in year twenty nine. LeBron, this twenty nine years. Kareem played twenty some years, twenty years. These niggas. Look how many of these years playing. My nigga played 12, won five championships. Hey, used to be, how you be making them passes five championship, and shit? Five championships, three MVPs, two, three finals MVPs, beat every country in the world, beat AIDS, beat life, <laughs> beat the Celtics. When the Celtics was like the, the evilest franchise in history, just white people whooping everybody. Bro, man. I didn't know, I ain't know till I watched Winning Time and I saw that shit. I was like, oh, these Man, niggas. Celtics was, them niggas the was whooping everybody ass in the 60s and the 70s. Yep. They draft everybody, whoop everybody ass. Uh, Have a stacked team. My boy come shut all that down. We yep. don't even look at the Celtics no more like that. That's thanks to Magic Johnson. He he overcame racism with that, that, that decade. Because before that, you know, the Celtics was like the, the most dominant for us in the NBA history. You know, them niggas had Bill Russell. You know, he black, but, you know, they, you know. Bob Cousy, John Havlicek, you know I mean? everybody. He whooping on all these people, man. And them that that legacy was crazy. That was like white people at the top prevailing, even though Bill Russell was a brother and he was like a militant brother. But that was like the white power structure. Magic came and toppled all that. Uh, My nigga be And still eight. being cool. Yeah. Never mad. Yeah. Then, you know, shout out to Brown, but he had the first page of the book open. He ain't do none of the politicking. He was just a cold man. And he a player. He just a player, man. How could you not, you know, just special. So y'all me. can't tell, like, Magic is L.A. For me. Yeah. But to to, to my little brother, Kobe is L.A. Mm. You know what I mean? But think, look at, rest in peace, Kobe. And Kobe's an ill nigga. But look at Kobe and Magic, man. It's just. You know what I mean? It's, it's like different. a different type of It's a of different nigga. level, yeah. Magic just did everything with elegance and grace, and Kobe was just a psycho. Fierce. You know, yeah, like a sociopath. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> that nigga. Hey, you know my favorite Kobe moment? When that nigga left that practice. When they were practicing. Yeah. You like, oh, y'all, they don't want to get better. Yeah. Y'all wasting. Soft. Yeah, Charming. y'all niggas soft. Yeah. And how he just walked out that motherfucker? Let me tell you something, man. Kobe is up. You ever saw Kobe play live? Yeah, a couple times. I seen it on the floor too. Yeah, yeah. Shout what out to like? Bird got me. Uh, Bird man took me to a playoff game. I sat on the floor. It was like second round. They were playing against Chris yeah. Paul or something. Bird man, a real ass yeah, nigga. Bird man, cold. Had me walk through the tunnel. He knew that shit meant the world to me. Yeah. And we went through the hey, tunnel. Hey, on some real shit. Uh, you just talking to. Uh, Would you like? Did you show you was excited? No. <laughs> <laughs> the crib in me wouldn't let that. Happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's certain. Very few times can you get that reaction out of me. Okay. So like meeting Jay Z, Jay Z telling me I was dope. That shit kind of made me shut up. Yeah, like man. I couldn't even talk. Yeah. 
Scarface, like he just, you know, I can't really act certain, you know, it, it just kind of be like, damn, you know what yeah. I mean? It ain't that many players. Like if I met Magic, I'm sure I'd go into like a little kid. You know what I mean? I try to keep the crib and going, but it just probably would fall apart. You know what I mean? It's Magic Johnson. It's, it's, it's Eddie Murphy, Magic Johnson, uh, Eddie Murphy, Magic Johnson, and probably Scarface, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. them type of niggas really meant the most to me growing up as far as outside of my house. Gotcha. Like, outside of the area. So, but uh, my takes do come across a bit obscure. I get it, but literally, if you just understand, I put the greatest defensive players, I give the same respect to defense as I do to offense. Offense, it don't yeah. Make sense. So, so if you like a three-time defensive player of the year and your team is a, you know, your championship year was the number one rated defense and your offense was rated 14, I know what that, I know why that happened. Mm -hmm. So like he was saying, like a person like Dirk, where Dirk is, is a, is a very, you know, great offensive player, but really, see, but you know defense. why? Yeah, I hear that. It's not too outlandish with you though, because it's like you have facts after you say certain stuff. You start naming, you know what I mean? You yeah. ain't just saying no, no shit. Like if somebody, say for instance, if you would have just said Dennis Rodman the second best power forward of all time, but if you don't say certain stuff after that, then be like he just talking. Yeah, but it's like nigga, you don't research your own way. Yeah, I, I just start here. <laughs> Yeah. I, I funny is he, he was saying that I'm a Charles Barkley fan. You know, Charles Barkley, when I was growing up, was in my top five favorite players. I love Charles Barkley, but Dennis Rodman showed and proved. Now, who's more of my favorite is going to be Charles Barkley. Dennis Rodman wouldn't be in my top 30 favorite players. Mm -hmm. But that don't mean he ain't a top 10 player all the time. Like, if you take his impact on defense, you know what I mean? You look at the Pistons, and you look at they had the number one defense, number two, three defense, and number 14 offense, but they winning championships through defense. He win defensive player of the year. There ain't nothing to talk about. Nothing. You know what's happening. You 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 put him with the uh, Bulls. Shaq and them beat the shit out the Bulls. Everybody talking about when Michael Jordan only came back half a season. Michael Jordan is not why. They couldn't guard Shaq. They had to get Dennis Rodman. They went and begged Dennis Rodman. They didn't even want Dennis Rodman to play for the team. Scotty was mad. He didn't want to get him. Phil knew they had to go get that nigga. Mm -hmm. when, they went to his used house. to let the nigga go to Vegas during the yeah. season and all that. I tell you what he is. I bet you Mike couldn't do that. You had your ass at practice. <laughs> <laughs> so you got Dennis Rodman over Mike. No, no, no. That's oh, no, no. Hey, that was no, 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 that's crazy. Boy, because he because he's the defensive player that yeah, he is mean, and offensive. Yeah, player. like a way better offensive. <laughs> this nigga the best offensive shooting guard ever. So all right, guys. No, you. but I'm saying it's when you know. I'll just see how something. far. You no, no, that ain't real. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> ain't happening. I mean, Even your happened. dog looked at you to see what you were going to no. say. Yeah, no, no. Hey, what no, you no, got no. coming up next, Glass? Man, cancel these nuts. My album is available. Go to thecripstore.com and buy it. Cripstore.com and get it, man. Yeah, what? T -H -E -C -R -I -P -S -T -O -R what, what, what can we expect on the album? Trouble. 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 This right here. Yeah. This right here. I'm on. I'm having fun and we making... For shout sure. out to the LA Giants. Shout out to EP, my boy who produced it. The whole mm -hmm. thing. We both from Wasso. It was dope, but it's just trouble. We talking crazy and giving you that shit that you ain't heard in a long time. Everybody else being friends, we like, fuck all these niggas. Yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah, here. Man, talking crazy. What I was going to say, what's your favorite song on that? What, like, if somebody watching this right now, what song you'll tell them, like, listen to this, then, like, like this the go-to? I'd probably tell them to listen to Fed Up. Fed Up. Like, all right. Fed Up is just, it's just flagrant. Yeah. And, but it's honest, too. It's, it's like the same thing. It's backed up with facts. It ain't like I'm just... Being a dick for the sake of it is like nah, these niggas out of control. That's the one we checking out then, yeah, fed up. Yeah, man, we appreciate you stopping through, talking your shit, glasses, man. Hey, <laughs> thank bro. you for having me, man. <laughs> nah, I know I keep laughing, but I keep thinking about why you had hey, Magic Johnson the number one player. Yeah, yeah. And he played point guard, one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Magic. But, but what he beat though? <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Celtics, <laughs> AIDS, cheating. <laughs> Allegations. Hey, nigga don't even talk about that. These niggas can't even hold. These niggas, baby mamas are leaving them for other players on the team. That nigga. That, shout out to Cookie. She the downest motherfucker in the world. But in the world. Man, my man Magic. The first man, lady. Just, hey, how could it get greater than that? And I see we, we fading away. Shout out to Steph. You know, Steph the second best point guard of all time. And he making a move on my man. But I ain't going to let my... While I'm breathing there, I'm going to make sure niggas know what, what my man then did. Yeah. Magic didn't really did it all, man. And everything there is to do. Mm -hmm. So I respect that. And and uh I'ma keep blowing that. I'ma keep I'ma keep making sure people know, you know, playing that trumpet for him. 
For sure. Man, we appreciate you pushing up, man. Number big salute and big blessings to the album, man. Make sure y'all go check that out. The Crip. Store.com. The Crip Store.com. Cancel these nuts. Cancel these nuts. Hey, what you think about people like, like if people, you know what I mean, just using that that gang affiliation if they not with the gang? With the lingo. When I say the lingo. I don't know. I think people think it's cool. I I really don't get into it. I just I, I just worry about being it more than what other people do. Mm-hmm. You said in front of the wrong person, you might get yeah. fight and fight. So long as you're ready to fight behind it. Mm. So that's, that's how I look at it. Because you know, like the internet done made stuff so accessible and people just could do and say that type of stuff. Yeah, I heard somebody on ESPN say, but that team got bracken. Yeah. I'm like, these what? motherfuckers <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but again, it's one of them things. Probably where, RG3. Uh, we got we to gotta come... <laughs> The ghetto got to come together because these white people taking our culture. Yeah, the they using it. And listen, I heard they were talking about trapping on ESPN. They were talking about the smoking on the Green Bay pack. No oh, yeah, longer do is that. the culture safe. They do that a lot. Yeah. They, they taking it. They upstreaming all our stuff. So, you know, it's up to us to come together and make it pop. So, I can't be mad at them for taking advantage. It is how it, it is. what it is. I just had to ask you that before you got It's all love. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, man. Y'all make sure y'all go support that. Can't cancel these nuts. Cancel oh, these nuts. Oh, cancel these nuts. Yep, yep. yep. www.thecryptstore.com. Buy you an album, vinyl, CD, cassette, cassette USB, all that good stuff. All that good shit. And go listen to Fed Up right now. Right now. Right go now. Go to Spotify and listen to that right now. For sure. Yes, sir. That's a cut.